Hey guys, today we're giving away surfboards worth over $1,000. <laughs> today, you could win the surfboards if you go to www.sterlingspencer.co and buy yourself a shirt. You can enter a chance of winning all these surfboards. Ah! This one's $30. This one's $19. This one's $8. This one's $500 pennies and that one we're making lemonade out of lemons you could win this you could win that if you buy this shirt you enter the grand finale prize we're also throwing in this diamond oh my gosh this diamond's worth <gasps> over seven million dollars how much is it worth seven million dollars seven million dollars yes we're giving Woo! it away <laughs> so go to www.sterlingspencer.co buy a shirt and enter the win the diamond prize surfboard package. <laughs> Is that how Mr. Beast does it? <laughs> hey, how's it? You know the rules. Dude, so how was your week? Let me hold it. You can't have it the Just whole time. Just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> See, doesn't that feel good? <laughs> Why do people hate it? Mm. <laughs> it's so that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about it. <laughs> and it's hockey. <laughs> Shut up. Give it back. Do you feel naked? I feel if I was skinnier I wouldn't care. You don't even have a belly. Yeah, right. It's more out here. <laughs> <laughs> my love hand my love hand if I could get a side pillows. I have a bigger belly. All my fat goes to the love handles. Yeah, you got full <laughs> haunches. <laughs> <laughs> my haunches are <laughs> <laughs> what is a haunt? <laughs> <sighs> Dude, so how was your week? Dude, this week was insane. What happened? I had the craziest dream. What happened? It was so real. You like woke up feeling weird? I felt amazing. Oh. It was like one of the most heroic dreams I've ever had. Tell me. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was me and Italy. And it was like Harry Potter. Yeah. You know how they're fighting each other's like squads yeah, like Gryffindor and Slytherin or whatever it was like that but instead of <laughs> instead of brooms we were on hydrofoils <laughs> really like and we were bouncing <laughs> everywhere in the air like <laughs> <laughs> and me and Ilo were like winning and we're yeah so we're hydrofoiling in the air everywhere and like we were beating someone and something and there was like just like in Harry Potter there was like the big dragons <laughs> triple headed dragons but it was all night, this dream. And me and Italo were just slaying and like, like we bonded. In your dream. In my dream. <laughs> and then we won. And I remember we finished and we're like, oh. <laughs> we like looked at each other and like all of our friends popped up and we we're hugging each other and we're like full proud Brazilian yeah. love. <laughs> He's like, I will remember you forever. So what, where would your foil boards go? They just disappeared. <laughs> No, but can you just ask people to, you know? Uh, he's getting mad. Tell him. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching this video, please subscribe. Thank you. Subscribe, you little chaunches. <laughs> chaunches. I'll slap you with my love handles. Oh. Yeah, so many people are watching but not subscribing. It's okay. I get it. It's hard to. Subscribe. It's hard to press that button. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> just do it, please. <sighs> I just bought a stupid car that holding all my kids. I got to pay for it. Is it true that surfing, if you chase the dream of surfing, it makes you poor? Who told you that? I heard that surfing makes you poor. From you, who? I think it was just a comment on it. <laughs> <laughs> well. It makes you poor in money, but rich in life. Because of the amount of money you have to spend on trips? <sighs> no. I think it's because you're all you're doing is surfing. Mm. So you're not really making money. <laughs> <laughs> so surfers are just these, like, like water addicts. Just oh. you know, All we want to do is be surfing. All day, every day. So only the guys that can make money surfing are, like, truly happy. <laughs> 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 What's funny is when you're a pro surfer... You lose sense of reality. You like forget like people are working terrible jobs. Yeah. And 
would kill to be where you are and all you care is like, I can't believe I can't land that trick. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you just talk crap about each other, like other yeah. servers. All all pro servers, all they do is, talk why, does, why do they get that? They shouldn't have got that score on that one ride. Dude, so we were on the one of the biggest comedy podcasts in the world the other day. I know. I didn't, I didn't even really care, you know? Really? I saw that we were on the, the Two Bears, One Cave, Tom Segura, and Burt Kreischer's podcast. Yeah, and they didn't even give us a shout-out. It's funny to me. I don't know how we want to talk about this, but it's funny that we totally tricked Tom Segura. I wonder if they're just going along with it. I don't know, dude. Tom really... Well, in the video, it's not Rick Rubin. It's not Rick Rubin. It's a joke. We are a, it up. We're a satire channel silliness just being fun. Satire. We're just having fun. Having a silly good time. But Tom's like, look at him, dude. We'll show the clip. By the way, have you seen the footage of Rick Rubin surfing? No. I saw uh, a thing of him surfing, and I was like, yo. He's doing like some funny stuff, but check him out. Check him out. Hold on. Look at him. He's like goofing around, right? Yeah. And But he's like, I don't know. I just was surprised to see Rick like, he's tearing it up. He's doing like standing on one leg, doing fun. Like, that's God, not your that's first crazy. time, right? Like he's moving, he's switching positions on there. I mean, it's not that he looks like a pro, but I'm just like impressed. I can't believe Bert didn't shout us out. I know. Bert's just like, Ugh. Probably can't even. I mean, he posted a clip of us on his Instagram. Right. And he don't even remember. <laughs> Is that Australian? That's why Aki. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Aki hasn't talked to us since. Dude, since we trip. made it. It's funny because I was looking at clips of it, like raw <laughs> clips, and when we were doing the pogs, he was so pissed. Really? He's like leaning down and we're like, dude, you, and he's like, it doesn't really matter. We're not really playing <laughs> or something like, and you and me are like, just one more. What do you think Aki's doing at this very second right now? Yeah. He's just looking around. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's making a pop tart or something. Something simple. Yeah. Like, like staring at the toaster. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just like, <laughs> Why is that so funny? He's just staring at a toast. Finally pops up. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Uh. What's funny? Is he doesn't have social media. God, he doesn't did. do it. I wish he did. So what does he do all day? <laughs> That's, yeah, what do people do that? <laughs> he's just staring at the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> you know he serve he he always serves first thing in the morning. Oh, that hurt my head. <laughs> he serves every morning. Yeah, he serves every morning. Does he have to stretch out his jaw or <laughs> 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 just kidding? <laughs> Aki, you know we love you, dude. Yeah, he has to do jaw stretches. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I love you, Aki. I was in this mall. On the Gold Coast, yeah. in Australia. <sighs> and here comes a- Aki walking. And he's just by himself. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> and he's not looking. And there's this trash can. <laughs> and he hits it and it knocks over and just spills everywhere. And he's like... <laughs> no. <laughs> and he didn't know what to do. He's like, should I pick it up? Or and he's just like... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. He's like, he's like, I, I might just walk away. <laughs> I don't think anyone saw. <laughs> and he ended up just going. Did he kick it over on purpose? Or no, just he didn't see it. Oh, he bumped into it. Yeah. Oh. And I was like, that's so funny. I'm just sitting here and Aki just walks by and knocks a trash can <laughs> over and doesn't pick it up. Dude, he's living the dream every day. He's one of the most legendary legends of all time. So I went to went into Ron John Surf Shop to grab a, some wax. Yeah. And this freaking chick stopped me. Why? Because they heard how much shit I've been talking. <laughs> this is her? This is Ron John's daughter. Oh! Jeez. I couldn't get past her. I was like, can I grab some wax? She's like, no. <laughs> I was like, can I grab a soft top? She's like, no. What did she want to sell you? She wanted me to get a couple like the three shirt 
combo oh, pack. Oh, yeah. The Cocoa Beach. Yeah, the Cocoa Beach combo pack. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cocoa Beach. I love Cocoa Beach combo packs. <laughs> so after I left Ron John's, I felt really... W- I felt into myself. I'm feeling this freaking puka shell juice. Bam! The combo pack. <laughs> <laughs> the Ron John shirts just got me so freaking lit. I was like, I don't think you're ready for this freaking jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. And then I was like, you know what? Freaking Crocs are on fleek. My cargo shorts were fitted. And I was freaking no cap. Freaking. Mm. No cap. God man. What's in your backpack? World title shirts. <laughs> <laughs> in a row. He's coming to the t-shirts. Oh my gosh, he's heading down to lowers. He wants his. He wants the world title. They're like, Italo, you're not in the top five. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> Give it to me, dude. He's coming back for his Crocs. Oh gosh. I told him he could have them. What's two mean? He's coming. Two. Yeah. What is two? That means I have two more days to live. <laughs> And he wants your pillow, too. He's not having it. <laughs> nope. Dude, chick servers are so posh now. Like, Real, dude. Look at them. They're freaking ordering like stuff on Amazon while surfing, while shopping, while getting their nails done. It's like, can't they just surf? <sighs> These surf chicks now, dude, they're gnarly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, what? How is he doing this? Dude. Is that Bubba Sparks? Yeah. Who is this? How is he flipping? Is this real? I think it's Bert. <laughs> Dude, Bert's foiling now? So there's thing. There's sit foils? He did a misty flip sitting Whoa. down. How's he doing this? This isn't real. Seriously, like, <laughs> <laughs> where's he getting all the, the juice? He's showing up all those foilers so hard. Right. He's, he doesn't even need to stand. He's just like, ah, dude. Yeah, ole. How does he get the? L- <laughs> I respect the crap out of this guy. He's just sitting, and then all of a sudden he's ten feet in the air. <laughs> 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 there's, there's. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, where's the power coming from? He's getting. Yeah, how's he just shooting in the air? Right there. <laughs> what? Yeah! <laughs> it's like a whale's bumping him up or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing dark slides. This is the magician. Have you heard of this guy? No. Yeah, they call him the magician. He does dark slides. So he's meaning to do this? Mm-hmm. Land on it upside down? Yeah. That sounds sketchy with the fins. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I see what's going on here. Dude, is this from 10 years ago? I remember my first horse up some ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair because she has like the buns right like i couldn't do that then dude do you remember when we went to nicaragua and did this yeah this uh, that was over 12 years ago it was 12 years ago uh, yeah Jeez. where was she then she was just a little toddler she's probably <laughs> in her like four she's probably like a teenager four she's probably in her 14s she's probably in her four <laughs> <laughs> like, <gasps> whoa. whoa look at the bump she's doing uh, uh. dude you see how high th- oh my gosh this is next level stuff dude oh my gosh she's almost riding the wave so this is like a milf right moms i'd like to foil with <laughs> <laughs> moms i like to foil with <laughs> <laughs> she's a full milf so dude what have you heard about harry styles the conspiracy going on no dude Apparently, he's on the premarital sex. He's doing that? He's doing it. And they, someone at one of his latest shows caught him on camera. Look, check it. We can show this? So, look. Look, where is he going? Look, he's sneaking up during the show. Whoa. And look. Uh, look at him. You see his body language? He looks relaxed now. He's on the premarital sex. What's he eating? <gasps> Condom? Oh <my> g- <laughs> 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 he's eating condoms. <laughs> He doesn't understand how those work. He's gargling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's about to suck it down. He's gargling with spermicidal lube. Gross. Look at him. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> he can't even think straight anymore ever since he's having premarital sex. Uh, he's everywhere. Look at <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's breaking He's stuff. breaking things. 
He's never. He's not. He's never gonna be the same again. So he needs to get off it. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, oh. he lost a tooth. <laughs> Dude. Look at him. He's <laughs> he's losing control ever since he's been on the premarital sex. His life's ruined. Oh no. Once you start, you can't stop. Well, that's true. It's the devil's juice. Look. At <gasps> <gasps> he's he's fiending. Uh, so he's kind of cr- trying now, to quit. He's trying to quit now, and look at him. He's like, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> I don't want to premarital sex. So he's trying his <gasps> hardest. He's trying to sneak it. He's trying to sneak it behind his back and put it in his pocket. Said, Come on, baby, baby. <gasps> he's toying with us. Look. Uh, he's looking for someone. <laughs> Who did that? Someone said you're having premarital sex. He's like, hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> bah! You never tell anyone. <laughs> <gasps> Look how agile he is now. That was a condom? He could have never done that before. Right. Now that he's on the premarital sex, it's like cheating. It's like steroids, but gnarlier. Look! Look! at. Is that the sign for a premarital? <gasps> That's, That's the premarital sign. Like the spread the legs. Oh! <laughs> Bottoms up. Dude, we found AI sent us footage of Laird in the future. Yeah. He's freaking river surfing. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho. I'm on the freaking laird and go. So he has logs now? He's freaking log boarding now. <laughs> he Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he spank it so hard? How'd they find this old man? <laughs> yeah. So Metallica needed someone to fill in for them for one show, and I, I took the opportunity to kind of like... Step it up. Step it up. You play the bass, right? Yeah. Let's and see. Check it. Whoa. <laughs> Say your prayer. Well, <laughs> so I was blowing everyone's mind with my freaking bass spins. So you did? They didn't need you to play, just spin. They want me to just spin. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! And I did a couple high kicks, dude. This yeah. So did you have to take like vertigo pills before? Well, look at him. Look at you. You're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I had to take vertigo pills. <laughs> So I've been getting so much hate from the foil community. Yeah. I started a nonprofit workout program for them to help them bounce better. Oh, so you're trying to give back. Yeah, I'm giving back. Check out my class. Oh. Come on, everybody. <laughs> oh, did you get the bounce? Yeah, back? dude. Now people are foiling harder than ever because of my program. Look at my shin ties. <laughs> dude, this is a... This is and so now we're trash stomping better than ever. This is so nice of you. <laughs> Dude, look at that guy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's nice of you. Dude, people are foiling better than ever now. Really? So, this is the Brazilian World Cup, and this is Gabriel and Italo. And before the heat, they're getting warmed up. This is how they warm up. In Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Italo. Alley-oop. So this warms them up. Yeah, this is how the Brazilians warm up for the surf contest. That's why they're so freaking good, dude. That's why they're so good. (laughs) (laughs) So I've been giving surf lessons, and it's really starting to work for my crew. Okay. Check it out. All right. Look how good everyone's getting. Whoa. Like, they're really, yeah, they're really catching on quickly. Look how good everyone's surfing. (laughs) It's <laughs> another MILF. Dude, these foilers, they need to see some of these, what these guys are doing. I know, look at these this. These guys chip. are doing flips. The <laughs> other ones are just. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all inland people. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all inland people. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. Holy. <gasps> dude. Dude, this is, this longboarder, he's like, I'm going to do shortboard maneuvers on my longboard. <laughs> That was sick. Wow. Has anyone ever done this before? Two? Double spins. Jeez. <gasps> oh, he's flossing. He's flossing on it. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks happy, though. I like he needs him. He's a world champion shirt. Would, could you do that in a contest and get points? If it was like a Ron John Surf Shop contest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> How is this guy getting so high? God. What is this guy doing others aren't? Ah! He, maybe he's hiding a engine. <laughs> How are they doing it? <laughs> what the frick? Why is sitting down like 
That's what it is. Something to do with the sitting down. Why? What the Why hell? are those foilers that sit down are Hold on, let's crushing it? Maybe we should try to <laughs> zoom in or something. <laughs> he did like a can-can. How's he getting so high? He's just sitting. This Dude. guy's like, I'm about to get the wave of my life. Here we go. Here we'll go again. <laughs> uh, my uncle's like, you know he was? <laughs> yeah! You know he was? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I imagine that's like his father-in-law. He's like. <laughs> so me and Jack Johnson, after we wrote Banana Pancakes. <laughs> Celebrated. Like, we started celebrating. And we created all these new ways to get to the serve. Oh. I called this the pity paws. <laughs> pity paw. Make a banana pancakes. We'll freaking slay the chicks later. Dude. We can go surfing anytime. How often do you talk to Jack? Like once a week. Really? Yeah. Just to catch up. Yeah. Normally on s- Saturdays mm. when we're making banana pancakes. Oh, you guys do it at the same time? That's cute. He FaceTime me every time he's making banana pancakes. <laughs> 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 so one of my kids in my foil class. Yeah? Dude, he's next level. He's doing good? Yeah, check it out. The classes are working? Yeah, check it. He's only been foiling for three years, and look how good he's getting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's really, uh, it's happening uh, quick. Uh, uh, See how hard he's slapping that shiz? From the trampoline. That takes years. Whoa. So what What I do is I get them in the trash cans first, right. just to get their mo- momentum. Yeah, going. they have something to hold on to. Yeah. Do you ever do twerk training? Yeah. Like twerking? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is me, dude. This is a clip of me if someone ever asked me this. Hold on. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry, are you? <laughs> 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 That's what it feels like, Sterling. You don't get it. To never be barreled. All you other people out there that have never been barreled, That's this is, we're a tribe. <laughs> we just start a group. Dude, did you see that mermaid footage? No, what? Look at him. They caught a mermaid on footage. On <laughs> footage? I can show you the world. <laughs> Shining, shimmering, wave links. Look, it's a real mermaid. Dude. He doesn't even need the wave. Is he trying to breathe? He doesn't need breath. He's a mermaid. Oh, that's right. Do you believe in mermaids? Have you ever heard of sirens? I've heard about them. Like way out in the olden times, guys would be on the pirate ships working and they'd hear these creepy noises like... And it was meant to confuse and lure what? men to jump off the boats, and the mermaids would eat them. Like gay? Stuff? No, like mermaid, like <laughs> girls. Mermaid. <laughs> not mermans. Mermaids. Oh, not merman. Yeah, so they would get lured into the water and be eaten by mermaids. The mermaids ate them. That's what they say. There's real. They have this like. There's big conspiracies about it. Why they eat them? They were hungry. Oh my lanta! <laughs> He went mountain high. What could you add to this to make it even more extreme? He's got a kite, a foil, a board. He needs a condom on. Well, that for sure. But is there anything else he could add to it? Like be on fire? (laughs) He should probably be on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Like how extreme do the humans need to get? (laughs) The amount of Red Bull this guy's got in his stomach. Another one. (laughs) (laughs) So this is another one of my students. He's really getting it. (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah i can tell <laughs> knees knees garbage knees. garbage take dump dump Twerk. recycle 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 it was worth it it was worth it thank you sterling <laughs> Now I'm off on my own, and uh, we're done. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was you on the beach? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my best students. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I always love Whoa, the intro. They always have the epic intro. Epic intro. Whoa. All right, we're going this way. Hmm, hours of writing. <laughs> ah, writing the waves. Oh, designing, painting, mm, seagull. <laughs> and I finally did it. I rode the bike <laughs> in the water, the surf bike. We hate to break it to you. It's a scooter. <laughs> Whoa. Take off. Oh. oh, you don't stand like that or like that? 
Isn't that like that? Was that even right? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, watch it again. <laughs> All those look good, and then he does something. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, this? <laughs> How's it? Ragland. Whoa. <laughs> we just need to show this clip over and over. Ragland. Good eye, mate. <laughs> He's on baguettes. <laughs> Australian. Good eye, mate. <laughs> How you going? Do New Zealanders say mate? I don't know. Do New Zealanders say mate? Mm-hmm. Dude, Beefy. we need to call them out. So Raglan, <laughs> our homie that we thought was our homie. We thought he was our friend. Yeah, he made a video making fun of our shirt and... You know the rules stuff. He's selling them. He's making we, money off of he's it? He's selling We Know the Rules. We know the rules. We know the rules. We know the rules. Well, it's pretty catchy. Just, it just says we we know the rules. But you got to say like, we know the rules. We know the rules. He just changed one word. It's you know the rules. I know. Dang it, we didn't copyright it. I know. And he's made like a hundred quid. Really? Yeah. And look how happy he is. <laughs> Now that with a, he's got all the money. He's just a thief. Oh, <gasps> Jared Leto. He's back. What's he doing? Is he going to be a up cat? To now? Whoa! What? He's wizarding again. Oh, he's Him and Harry Styles are on the <laughs> premarital. <laughs> Look at him. Whoa. That, the first was before premarital. Yeah. And then after. Look. He's wearing a dumb he's trucker just, hat. He's just a good old boy. <laughs> life's fine. And he's like, you know what? Premarital. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, ladies? Who wants some of this jizz stuff? <laughs> 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 Has this ever happened to you? Yes. Surf damage? Dude, airports are so gnarly on boards. Why do they do this? Look at them. What are they thinking? All right. Coming down. Who, is someone going to catch it? Or just no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't surfers like get super pissed and like are they try to sue? They've been fighting it forever. Like we go to the airport and they charge us like five hundred dollars each way. Really? And then they do this stuff. <laughs> so you bring your board to the airport and they don't pay to fix it. They're just like sorry. No one understands. It's this. It's like the G- DJs it's and no the loophole. <laughs> They're allowed to break your board. They can just break your board and there's no penalty. I don't get it. He's chained. So Tyler. Times are hard. Board prices are super steep. <laughs> so, you know, you find some groms in China who can make the boards for cheap. <laughs> so did Kelly get ticked? So, dude, this video is kind of gnarly because it's kind of true. Right. Because firewires are made overseas hmm. for like $14 a board. Gosh. And then they sell them for like 800 This is wild that he made this. <laughs> he's So he's fully calling them out hardcore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what I don't get is they all commented. They're right. like, haha, we love it. Right. And then one video we make. I say bald once. He's like. Block. Never again. I will never follow him again. I wonder if this was exposing so hard where Kelly and Firewire, they're like, um, we need to play along with this. <laughs> yeah, like, haha, it's funny. <laughs> Tyler's got a set of Bahalskis on him. He's got nothing to lose. Kelly, I had love. No money, no food. What is this? What's your problem, Grom? I got your, you know, rice right here. <laughs> I mean, dude, he's giving rice to an Asian dude. <laughs> it's so <laughs> hardcore. Tyler, you are scary. You really went for you it. You went for it, bro. Yeah. Why does Why does Kelly know? I'm so nice. What's I, the worst thing I've said about Kelly? That he's prideful. <laughs> <laughs> he won't retire. Yeah. I posted that retirement video joking. Yeah. And his girlfriends were yelling at me. His gr- Leave Callie alone. His girlfriend's sister. His girlfriend's sister's brother. Right. Cousin. Said, like, I don't know what your infatuation with his. Bleh. Get off his dong. Whoa. So I saw this guy. He's just like, Alley-oop. What is that? He gets to name that trick. What the hell? And then he does a three flip. Just chilling, bro. Is this the craziest trick that's ever been done? It's the um, wildest trick I've seen in a long time that doesn't look like it's repeatable. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? It's like a, what is it? 
It's insane. So it'd be called like a back front, flip. Front flip. Or front it's flip. It's like a misty flip. Body varial shove it. Finger shove it. That's the craziest trick that's ever been done. That's insane. But I bet, like, real skaters are like, dude, that's not even that cool. So this is my ba baby <laughs> surf training program <laughs> to get them early. So paddling strokes, leg kicks, duck dives. But didn't, like, the Family First Network shut you down? The Family First Network shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't want world champions so young. Oh, so, so they put a band on this. So they have to start at like nine or something. So I'm only teaching this in China. Dude, did you, you know Taylor Swift surfs? Really? Dude, there's footage of her like at this award show with the surfboard. She's like learning. But look, they just found this on one of her tours. I don't know about you, but I'm freaking 22. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I heard she can't finish her tour now. Right. Because she's scorpioned. Dude, people freaking worship Taylor Swift. Dude. Freaking, I'm, I was listening to, like, all the podcast guys. Yeah. Like, uh, Andrew. Andrew Schultz. And Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> Taylor Swift is the best show show they've ever seen. I know. How can they say that? Let's not poo-poo it until we've been. We need to go. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I've had to listen to Taylor Swift my whole life. Why? Like, from having girlfriends and stuff. Sure. And they're like... When you date a girl that loves Taylor Swift, it's hard on the relationship. Right. Because it drives you crazy. It's just Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Well, the music drives you nuts. I kind of like it. I don't know about you, but I'm freaking 22. What's that one I like? It's so cheesy. I know. I love it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, how we'd have to go to a show to understand right. what they're talking about. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure. It makes my wiener feel weird, that kind of music. But a bad weird. Yeah, not a good weird. <laughs> like a bad tingle. <laughs> Dude, this guy would be great on foils. Whoa. He just did a handlebar spin. Dude, this guy's an innovator. I like him. Dude, have you seen how Laird takes Gabby out on dates? What, like supping or something? Dude, check it. It's oh, so classy. That's sick. He's like, hold on. Let's get into the freaking hydrofoil. So he's pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his freaking feet. Oh, just going. Yeah, like oh. Flintstone. <laughs> Flintstone. <laughs> so you know I'm having a baby soon. Great. Do you like babies? Dude, what is up with babies? Yeah, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Dude, the other day I was walking to the beach. Uh-huh. And like. This mom and dad have this baby propped up on a truck, and they're, like, cleaning them off, and he's staring, the baby's just staring at him, he's like... Like a one-year-old? Yeah. No, like a infant. Okay. Like a six-month-year-old. Okay, six-month-year-old. <laughs> he can't walk. <laughs> six-month-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a six-month-year-old. <laughs> and so, like, he's just staring at me, and I'm, like, walking, trying not to... You're scared. But I can't stop looking at him, because he's, like... He's intimidating you. And he's staring right in my eyeballs. He's like, what's <laughs> what wrong with you? <laughs> and I was looking at him like, whoa, he's vibing me hard. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, I wonder if like in his past life we had beef or something. Hmm. Maybe you cut him off when he was in <laughs> pre-human. In the last life. Yeah. You ever seen that video <laughs> of the guy where there's a group of friends are sitting around and this kid, the guy's like, what's your baby doing, dude? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> he's a baby. He's just Look at his face. Dumb little face. Stop. Yo, Zan, get your boy, dog. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, it's little, hey, dude. What's going on? Dude, have you seen the video, the picture? There's this old photo, and they call it the sur the time traveling surfer. And it's this photo. It's like these old miners, and it was found in this book. And you, and then you can see in this one spot this guy that's dressed totally different, and he looks like a time traveler from like the future that landed there. And people think he, it's real, like time travel's real, and he went back. Is it AI? No, it's real. Let me show it to you. Are you making that this up? No. So, yeah, there's people that believe that this was a time traveling, and they call him a surfer because of the way he looks and he's dressed. Why do they think he's a surfer? I think he just looks surfery. Because he's like... He does seem like he's dressed. Not for the times. Yeah. But AI can do anything now. Well, no, this was a book from a long time ago. Yeah, we don't know. 
Anyways, I, I wish time traveling was true. I think it is. One day. It is. Well, it, if it was, why has no one come back yet and been like, dude? Dude, so we've been getting a lot of mean comments on this stupid foil video we made. <laughs> 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 Here's the deal. It's just for fun. We're not mean. Are we mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to laugh. We're just being silly. We don't know. We don't know anything. I love foil boarding, honestly. Do you really? Yes. Well, I support it. 100%. You support it. Well, do you feel bad? Like, people are saying the meanest stuff about us. I do feel bad. You feel bad? And I wrote a song to so apologize. You wrote a song about what? Apologizing. About to the foil community? Mm-hmm. You want to hear it? Yeah. Where's your uke? I got it. I thought that was sweet. Yeah, dude. Takes a big man to... Felt compelled to apologize. Takes a big man to apologize. What do you mean by big? I mean, like, big. Like, chaunches? Like your haunches. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope everyone knows that, you know, we're just joking, bro. It's just fun. Dude, did you see Donald Trump's mug uh-huh. shot? I don't understand anything anymore. <laughs> So he's got her ex president has a mugshot. I know it's so funny. He's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't know what's true and what's not anymore. Yeah, what do we believe? What do we not believe? Then it makes you not want to believe anything or even care about anything. Like with the Maui fires. What are you thinking, dude? You think it's lasers? What's the what's the scuttlebutt? The news isn't actually reporting anything, you know, and you're watching. Like, I'm watching all my friends in Maui in real t- life. Right. On Instagram. And they're like, oh, thousands have died and this and you that. You think it's thousands, really? They all say that. It's only reporting like a hundred or something. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, guys were talking to me. They're like, we saw a hundred dead bodies, like, just walking on the shore. Dude, so sad. They're like, there's got to be thousands. <sighs> and there's just so much more. Like, it's hard to believe mainstream media i know like you ever seen that clip where they're all saying the same yes things and yes it's, it's creepy just, i don't know what to believe anymore the only time i've been to hawaii was maui in lahaina in a house it's gone now the house i stayed at yeah it's totally gone it's this little place called baby beach and my uh mom or someone looked it up on google maps like stuff it's just doop, gone like one of my friends they were like this was like a laser for sure and i'm like come on dude. explain that real quick so people that don't know. Well, they're like, there's jets that can shoot lasers. Like high heat intensity lasers. Yeah, and just start fires. So I was like, you're crazy or whatever. But I just watched a old news clip that I'll send you. And it was like in 1980, a plane actually accidentally shot a laser and totally burnt down the town of Santa Barbara. What? Yeah, and I'm watching this old clip, and they're like, oh, this, an ac- it was an accidental laser. <laughs> and I'm like, what, in the 80s? How'd we miss this? Huh. Well, s- you can play the clip, but it's just like, 
What do we believe in? Well, here's what's weird is like, and now we're talking about UFOs, like it's nothing. Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's, what's funny is like back in the day, if you said lasers, I'd be like, God, you're so stupid. But now I'm like, anything's possible. UFOs, uh, Epstein islands. Yeah. And with Trump, <clears throat> I don't know what's real and what's not because he's always yipping and yapping. <laughs> and it's like, it seems like some of it's true and then some of it he's just exaggerating and right. you can't tell dude it is scary and then he has he has like a crazy amount of people that will do anything he says right the politics now it's just bizarre it's like a reality tv show now it all seems like just watching the way they responded to maui like it was so slow and then is that what's wrong they took way too long to do anything they still haven't sent much help yet and then Biden's like, oh, we're going to send $700 to Oh, my family. gosh. When I heard that, I was like, 700 bucks in Hawaii, I'll get you. $700 does nothing. It doesn't. You might as well not send them anything. Yeah, don't give them anything then. And they literally just signed billions of dollars to Ukraine. Right. It's like, when are we going to like give us money? Yeah, and like I, said, I admit, I don't know anything about anything, so I don't know what the logistics and why they're sending money to Ukraine. Obviously, they're, they're trying to control a world war. Right? I have no idea. Exactly. So what do we know? But it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But it's like, why? Like when COVID happened, they all sent us a hundred bucks. <laughs> like, what does this do? They did. What did they do? It was like 750 bucks or something. It was like a hundred bucks. I think I got more. Maybe like, cause you had kids. Like two. Oh yeah. That's what it was with kids. It was actually a little chunk and I was like, nice, <laughs> but it still didn't matter. It didn't do much. It maybe helped with the little groceries and that was it. I think they should send everybody um, a Range Rover. I just don't get this country. Not to sound. Yeah, like an old man. Hater or whatever. It just, when we see like hundreds of billions of dollars sent to another country, when like right now we can barely afford anything. It's so expensive. And we're, we're like, we're not super poor. Right. Like, like why don't we help us ever? Yeah. It's like. Now insurances aren't covering houses in Florida. <laughs> My insurance has tripled. Dude. It's like, what are we doing? Why are we sending money any, anywhere else? Right. And it's all for something we don't really know. <laughs> you know? Right. Like, it's bizarre. In the comments, tell us what's going on in the world. <laughs> I'm not for or against anything. I don't want to hear any... You mother of Trump, you, Biden, yeah. liberal father, star redeemers. I just, both sides, I'm just scratching my head. Like, Right. We've talked about this. It's like, is Trump awesome? Is he the devil? <laughs> is he this? Is he Biden? <laughs> all I know is. You don't actually know anything. We it's don't know all anything. Just from what you hear. Right. I don't get it, man. The world needs to be run by babies. Maybe women. Innocent, pure babies. Women should be in charge. Men are too greedy, prideful, <laughs> egotistical, and just... We need all men into sports. Yeah, they play sports. Yeah, like, y'all just focus on sports <laughs> and beating each other. And yeah. And, and, like, we'll run everything. The women will freaking keep us alive. Because women, like, they can't be that greedy and evil. Because, like, as soon as they have kids, it's like, they just care about things. <laughs> <laughs> Men just want to conquer everything till their last breath. <gasps> Men's greed is beyond comprehension. Yep. Like, I've met so many people in the serve industry, especially men. Mm. They're so greedy. Like, such a narcissist. They will just penny pinch you to death and then be like, mm, I'm such a good human. Yeah. What's your middle name? Don't do it. You don't want people to know? It's Brown. <laughs> the way you said <laughs> Wait, so you don't like it? Sterling Brown Spencer. It is kind of a weird like where does it come from? Lydia. But what does it mean? Her maiden name. Oh, her name is Lydia Brown? Mm -hmm. I never knew that. She wanted to change it to Sebastian. Ooh, that's cool. Sterling Sebastian Spencer. <laughs> Whoa. You need like a little sword. And my dad wanted it to be called Silver. Sterling Silver? <laughs> that would have been maybe not good. <laughs> Sterling Silver Spencer. <laughs> Sterling Cuban Fincher. SSS. Dude, my middle name's John. Thanks for asking. Ryan John. Ryan John. Sure shot. 
You should start a surf shop called Ryan John. That'd be sick. I've never been to a class reunion. I accidentally saw mine. Saw your what? Class reunion. You accidentally saw your class reunion? There was this hotel I'd go eat sushi at. Yeah. And. Well, well, well. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. boy. Look who it is. I'm back in the show. Sorry. Whoa. All welcome right. back. All right, we have a question for you. What do you think about Ron John's surf shop? Show the show them the cat. Show them the cat. They have a cat. This is Oliver. Oh, bye, Oliver. Hey, why? I heard you wanted to start your own YouTube show. That is actually true. I do. You never let me eat your Encrustables. Because they're not yours. True. Hey, Wyatt, what do you think about Ron John's surf shop? I'm not saying it. Don't you think they're scumbags? Wyatt, you have to tell us. Not happening. Bye everyone. Bye. A little Bye. tornado of. See you again. See you again. See you again. <laughs> he had a good day. Maybe <laughs> the girl he likes talk to him. Aria. See, when a girl likes you at school, you get a text back. You're like the whole day is just. <sighs> I remember my only reason of living was like <laughs> girls. Yeah. In school. Yep. Because school sucks so bad, and then it was just like. Uh, I'm going to see Katie in seventh period. <laughs> Dude, they expect us to go to school all day, not get paid to be there, <laughs> and just do stuff we don't want to do. Like, we could be working in, like, factories. They could be like, like making hey, stuff. yeah, like, make these license plates, and we'd be like, like all right. Make these surfboards for Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> for f- we just sat there all day for free and learned about biology and the algebra. And I'm not using nothing. Yeah, I want to be working. Put me to work. Did you ever go to Spencer Gifts in the, in the mall? Yeah, that was like the only thing I liked. Yeah, all the creepy. I liked going to the back. Oh, God. And there was like the weird yeah. like brawls and stuff. <laughs> the weird shirts with naked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Spencer Gifts. So it was like our last name. Yeah, so we felt like we owned the joint. <laughs> <laughs> Do I remember the mall? It used to be the coolest place to go. And now it's like nothing. It's just people vaping everywhere. You used to vape a lot. We vaped that one time. Oh, yeah, when we went to the Hangout Fest. Yeah. They gave us free vapes, and we were like, what the? It's so stupid. And the whole time, like, <laughs> 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 we couldn't stop. This is stupid. <laughs> and we, were t- we had, they gave us an assistant, and we're like, our first assistant. Oh, yeah. That girl was cool. I forget she her name. She did, did whatever we wanted. Like, we need pineapples. And she, <laughs> Dude, okay, let's tell this story about the beginning. I don't think we've ever told this story. About how we snuck onto stage at the Hangout Fest. Should we talk about that? Sure. Okay, so listen to the story. We're at the Hangout Fest. Listen There's to the story. <laughs> you have no choice. We got hired to make content for this thing called the Hangout Fest, and we would make silly videos with the bands and like Foo Fighters and all these people. So we had VIP passes. We could go wherever we wanted on any stage, any VIP room. So me and Sterling, Sterling's all done up in this wig and all this stupid clothes. <laughs> Yeah, you were Beowulf. Well, when we were going, I was like, dude, what if I dressed up yeah. and had this guitar and just walked around and just said I was a band? Yeah. And there was another band called Wolf something. Rain Wolf. Rain Wolf. And we're like, oh, we're Beowulf. And <laughs> they kind of were like, okay, I saw a wolf. <laughs> so we would just walk up to the <laughs> stage. So we're like, I'm in Beowulf. We got to get on. <laughs> so we walk up there and we just start going up there's about a th- i don't even remember who was about to play some huge band it was queens of the stone age yeah they were about to play in like 20 minutes sterling and me start walking onto the stage and no one stops us and we just keep going it's still Sterli- to the front of the and stage. sterling just started jamming out and everyone's just like <laughs> a couple of people were like <laughs> but most people were just like huh and that was hilarious and then we got down and snuck off and no one ever knew and that was the beginning of gold the movie that's the beginning of gold the movie that's i remember you started we it. went back to our room and you were in the shower and i heard you go i got it <laughs> <laughs> you were in the shower and you go that'll be the beginning of the movie and i was like yeah yeah that was epic that was hilarious the stuff we've done it was Stern. so funny running around hangout fest and being like i i gotta go play <laughs> Yeah, we just they, we could go anywhere we wanted because I was wearing that stupid wig. And you went into the Rainwolf's dressing room, and they got mad and threw you out. Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> because I had a guitar in my hand. Yeah, people were like, mm. and VIP pass. They're like, yeah, he ha- he's has to be in a band. Yeah, anything. Like how else? Yep. 
And literally, we were tricking everyone. It was so fun. <laughs> what other stuff could we do? We about? met Foo Fighters. Yeah, you got to meet Dave Grohl. He was so cool. Yeah, that was a sweet time. Who else did we get to meet that was cool? Jack Johnson, Dave Grohl. You already knew Jack Johnson. We hung with Jack, and he was scared that we, we were going to punk on oh, him. Yeah. He was like, what's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> you said something to me like, oh, I knew you before you were famous. He was like nervous, and his eyes were like, yeah, he's like, he's like, where's the camera? But he liked the pancakes. <laughs> he was like, eating he was them. like starving, and he ate all the banana <laughs> pancakes. I was like, damn, he really is Jack Johnson. <laughs> he loved <laughs> banana pancakes. Only Jack Johnson would eat banana pancakes <laughs> on a hot Monday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brother told me the funny <laughs> story. Like, so my brother was there. Oh, he what? Oh, that's right. And he saw Jack Johnson. He was riding in this golf cart. And Jack Johnson stopped, and he was just sitting there in the golf cart. And Yancey walks up to me. He's like, Jack Johnson, hey. Like, And Yancey was messing with me. He's like, man, I just, I wish they would have let us pick up all the turtle eggs before they put <laughs> they set the hangout fest. And he said Jack Johnson's face went ghost white. Wait, like, he tricked Jack Johnson to think he was driving over at turtle eggs. Yeah, he, was, <laughs> he made it sound like. He's like, this is a huge turtle egg farm right here. And Jack, he said he went pale. like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was like, man, we could have <laughs> saved a lot of turtles. <laughs> and Jack, he said it looked like he was about to throw up. Because Jack loves nature. He preserves. It's everything he does. <laughs> and yes, he's made it sound like he <laughs> parked on a on a turtle ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack, he never said he was joking. Like the rest of Jack's life, he just thought about Jack's just driving over turtle out <laughs> shells. Yancey. Oh, what a great idea! <laughs> Yancey was on this crazy turtle rampage on Facebook because <laughs> he was so sick of people yelling about the turtles and stuff. Dude, he has addressed me about the turtles <laughs> he's all about the lights and like what about these lights and all this stuff he hates turtles <laughs> what's up with girls what what's up with them they're just nuts dude can't live with them can't live they with have them. to be the most like confusing complex creature on earth they don't even know what they're doing what other creature on earth is like them they don't yeah they men don't. are way more simple yeah, we're like, bing, bong, bong. I heard this thing once Bill Burr said, he's like, women can't stand men just enjoying themselves watching a football game. <laughs> he's like, they're like mad at you that you're happy just sitting there. like, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, we're so simple. That's what I'm saying. They're so complex. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> like must find drama. Dude, my wife is like, if there's like anything to worry about, she wants to worry about it. And then it doesn't. She's first in line. And then it doesn't happen. And I'm like, I didn't have to waste any time. And you worried <laughs> about it for days. You ever been on a surf trip where you like almost died or had to run from somebody? I went to the Gold Coast of Australia. Mm-hmm. And everyone would party, like, downtown Queensland, and freaking. So we would take these taxis, and we were taking a taxi back, and we didn't have any money. Oh, gosh. And we're, like, kind of... Tipsy, tipsy. And then we're, like, just run. So when we get to our stop... Wait, so you're in the cab, but you don't have the money, and you're just going to bolt. Yeah, we were just like, oh, we'll just run. <laughs> 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 so he's like, all right, that'll be twenty nine ninety nine, <laughs> And we're just like... <laughs> 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 and you hear him, he's like, not, it, not again, <laughs> these goddamn kids. <laughs> and he was, like, this Indian guy. Oh, and no. he was just like, not again. <laughs> he was like, Woo. so we were like running. I was like running with my friend, like looking. I'm like, oh. and all of a sudden he's like, Woo. he caught you. He got in front of us somehow, and it was coming at us. And I was like, <laughs> I was gonna try to jump to the side, and it was too late. He came so fast, so I just like rolled off the taxi. It hit you. Just hit. I like Blood. ninja'd it perfect, and I was just like. <laughs> And, like, went over him, like, oh, my God. And he's, God. like, oh, oh, and, like, I ran off. And none <laughs> of my friends, I was so scared. I just, like, <laughs> ran home. And they couldn't find me. Dude. So they were, like, we are pretty sure Sterling's dead. 
Because they thought you got hit. Yeah, they thought I got ran. Well, I did get hit. <laughs> right. But I mean, like, they thought you died. I, like, nin- when I was younger, I, had so- I was so agile. Right. Like, I ninja over that thing. <laughs> I hit that windshield, but, like, slid. I was like, whoop. Did you fall on your head or, like, back? I landed perfect on my feet. I was like, <laughs> oh, like, like a su- Spider-Man. Like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude. And all my friends thought I was dead. I remember the next day the contest was. <laughs> I remember I was like, walk- I kind of, like, my hip was kind of sore. <laughs> little I'm, sore. like, hitting. The <laughs> <laughs> little sore, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my friends being like, you- you're alive. No we thought you were way. dead. I was like. I'm all good. You're like, oh. I'm fine. <laughs> it's my hip. Dude. I'll have arthritis in this <laughs> hip the rest of my life. That poor guy didn't get his money. No. Real quick, let's do the best comment. Stable to the wall. This is from Saltwater Cowboy. What happened to Taj? Kelly happened. <laughs> Golfing Flaco. I agree 100% with Tom Curran being the Michael Jordan of surfing. I thought you'd like that because that's your favorite surfer. Mm. Night Night Ninja 8211 says, Every day my brain whispers, Custom Light Chin Ties. All right. And last one, Yeah Buddy 752. Has anyone ever tried to take the, p- the Aki pillow away from Ryan? This one? Mm-hmm. This is the one? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah Buddy 752. Has anyone ever tried to take the Aki pillow away from Ryan? <laughs> So don't forget, we stapled this to the wall. You can see it right now. It's going to go up there. Your, the best favorite comment goes on the wall. All right, guys. So please subscribe. Buy our new shirt at sterlingspencer.co. Oh. Sterling, tell them it's limited a dish. They're going to be gone soon. Guys, this will be for sale for five days. Five or six you days. You have five days to get this shirt, and it will never be made again. Ever. These are limited a dish. Limited a dish, guys. So... Anyone who orders one in the five-day window gets one. Do it. It helps us out. All right, let's turn the shirt back on and go surf, dude. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch my salt. <laughs> Can you believe it? Whoa. We're also throwing in <laughs> Where's he this going? lemon Whoa. with over $4.99 on market value. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>